Hey guys, it's me, Jake, from JakeMan21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2017 Toyota 4Runner. This one is a SR5 Premium model. As you can see, this one is finished off in a super white exterior. Outside, this one does have your tinted privacy glass around the rear. Up top, roof rails, as well as this one, is equipped with a sunroof. You have your body-colored exterior door handles, as well as running boards down below, and body-colored mirrors. This one also does have LED turn signal indicators built in. And overall outside, this is a great looking SUV. Fuel cap is on the driver's side, of course. And back here, this one does have a trailer hitch installed. As well as in typical 4Runner fashion, this one does have the rear window that will slide all the way down. Rear backup camera as well. And you do have your splash guards installed down below. This one is riding on Bridgestone Dweller HT tires, which are... P26570R17, so 17 inch alloy wheels for your disc brakes. The tires on this one are in great shape for the mileage. <laughs> this was a clean auto check, one owner trade in. Up front, this one does have projector headlights, fog lights. We'll go ahead and get in. It does have your typical Toyota keyless entry key fob with lock, unlock, and panic. And inside, this one does have the black and two-tone gray soft hex interior. Which, this is a leatherette, but you'd never be able to tell. It feels and looks great. And I really do like the two-tone design. This one also does have your factory all-weather floor mats. close the door and inside of this 4Runner this one does have a leather wrapped steering wheel audio system Bluetooth phone controls on the wheel and nice and tight power steering cruise control down below and then over here are your headlight controls on the door it's padded stitched leather around here as well as on the armrest all four windows are automatic power locks and your power mirrors are over here in typical Toyota fashion gauge dimmer as well as your heated windshield and then your controls for the power outlets in the rear down below there as well, you do have your hood release and then your parking brake. Just typical push on, push off. Dashboard itself is all rubberized. It's nice, looks great. As well as right here, you do have your gauge cluster. Typical Toyota, it is an electroluminescent cluster. And it's a very pretty design with the blue backing on the gauges. Tachometer, speedometer, and then your engine temperature and fuel gauge. As you can see, this one has under 15,000 miles on it right there clock in the middle as well as two air vents in your hazard controls. Right here is your typical Toyota Intune system. This one is equipped with navigation being a SR5 premium. You can go to this screen, different apps, a lot of things that will work when you have a uh, Bluetooth phone connected. Once again on the home screen your Bluetooth phone and then your radio right here. This one does have AM, FM, CD, um, auxiliary and satellite radio, of course, Bluetooth audio streaming. It's all very nice and simple to use. Right here is your single zone manual climate control, all nice and easy to use. Fan speed, your different zones right here, and then the temperature. You have your recirc as well as your heated mirrors and your defrost. Storage, USB and auxiliary in, as well as a power outlet, and then your passenger airbag on and off. Cup holder, your four wheel drive controls, and then more storage. As well as another cup holder back here. Like I said, this is one of my favorite parts of the 4Runner. Press that, and your rear window goes all the way down. And you can bring it all the way up. Just one touch automatic. Heated seats for the driver and passenger in the SR5 Premium. And you have a padded armrest right here. Storage inside with a 12-volt outlet, change storage, the tissue holder up top. Interior lighting up top. As well as your garage home link. More interior lighting controls and sunroof controls. As well as right here, traction control on and off, a track, and then your downhill assist, and your sunglasses container. Auto dimming rear view mirror right here. And the headliner itself is a nice soft material. You also do have handles on the side, and your visors, built-in vanity mirrors. We'll go ahead and step out of this one. Headlights and fog lights are on. 
and pop the hood. Now inside of the rear seat, this actually is a third row model, which I know is definitely the more desirable and the more uncommon model. This is probably only the second third row model I've actually ever been around. To access it, just pull right here. The seat will slide forward from right there. And you can bring it up, just release. And then the bottom piece will slide out. As you can see, it pops up, and then you can pop the headrest in place right there. You have storage on the side, as well as a power outlet, different things like that. And bring the seat back. You can control the recline from right there as well. Stepping in, this one does have your all-weather mats in the second row. And you can see, I'm 6'2", I can comfortably sit behind myself, no problem. You have the two-tone seats back here as well. And storage inside of the cup holders, added leather armrest. And up top, is your interior lighting. Handles on each side and back seat pockets. Two air vents as well as two power outlets down here as well. And on the door, all the materials follow through with the padded leather and everything else. Inside of the trunk, just open it up right there. You can see that's the amount of space you get with the third row up and then with it folded down. And then to fold it back down, it's nice and simple. Just pull. That will pull the bottom piece in. And then it goes down just like that. And as I said, you have storage, things like that on the side for the third row. And it's very nice to see one with the third row seats. Like I said, that's a very rare option. Two power outlets. And then some storage behind this panel. Looks like it includes some wiring harnesses for your towing. On this side, everything follows through. Pull right here. It will release the seat and fold it forward. So you can bring the third row up. Once again, very nice and simple. You have your release on the seat right there for the third row passengers to exit. Up front, power passenger seat. All weather floor mat once again. And inside of here, everything else follows through, as well as your state inspector certificate and your owner's manual. And one of the things I like about the SR5 Premium 2 is you get this very nice looking silver trim on the dash, as well as the doors with the leather around it. Up front, this one does have projector headlights fog lights, and then under the hood, it is equipped with Toyota's 4 liter V6. Everything under here is running great and in great shape, it's a very nice reliable engine. Close that. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up and cut it off right here. Headlights back in automatic mode. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you aren't in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.